My research has grown increasingly broad over the years as, as um, the group at SFU at CIT has grown. I've been doing research in computer-aided design, which is how people, designers, use computers to accomplish complex tasks. And, and that involves understanding people, understanding the computer science of computer-aided design systems, understanding the software, how you program them, understanding the math. And over the years, I've, I've worked in all of those areas and published, uh, built systems and published papers on advances in computer-aided design. And that's been the core of my research for a long time. If you haven't noticed, there's too much data today. It's just way too much. We can't handle it. And visual analytic systems are systems that are designed to help people use their visual system, which is, which is actually their fastest processor. Um, and the visual system allow, it helps us recognize things faster than computer rec computers can recognize them today. And in many ways, we can see visual patterns that even after 40 or 50 years of computer vision research, that computers can't do. So the idea of a visual analytics system is to combine human and computer um, to enable people to better understand large, uncertain, and changing collections of data, like your email, uh, like a collection of student grades, like very, very large uh, money movements in banks, um, like uh, we, one of our, our data sets is airstrike data on airplanes and how it, how it happens, where it happens, and trying to come to hypotheses about why it happens. The best things about teaching such students is when they find something they didn't know. And in design, that, in fact, that's what design is. It's finding new things new configurations of space or form or bits or atoms that you didn't know about before in order to solve a problem.